Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Friday Chatter. My name is Grant, and you can catch me here every week to find out happenings here at Ruby Falls and across Chattanooga. Now, last week, I walked you through easy points of access and our parking situation here at Ruby Falls. So this week, I want to walk you through your arrival and check-in process once you get here. Let's go ahead and get started. If you parked across the street from the castle building, be sure to only cross at the designated crosswalk. Local traffic moves pretty fast up and down the mountain, so we've provided a highly visible crosswalk with flashing lights so as to alert drivers of crossing pedestrians. For your safety, you'll also want to stay on the left side of the concrete ball planters as you walk up the hill approaching the castle. It's designated for pedestrians as well. If you're approaching from the parking lot on the castle side of the street, please excuse our construction, but continue on past the historic castle building and make your way up the paved ramp to the entrance and tickets building double doors. Since you'll already have your advanced tickets purchased at rubyfalls.com, there's actually no need to stop at the ticket desk to check in. Although there will always be a friendly face there to help you should you need it. If you have your tickets in an email or have them printed out, you can proceed directly through the Village Gift Shop to the Cave Tour entrance hallway when your cave walk time is displayed on the monitor. Please be sure to use the restrooms before your cave walk as there are none in the cave. At the end of the hallway, a team member at the loading desk will scan your tickets just as you're stepping onto the elevator for your scheduled cave walk time. It's as easy as that. Again, I hope these videos help you in planning your vacation so when you get here, you'll have less stress and uncertainty about what to do, and all you need to worry about is having fun. All right, what's going on in Chattanooga? The Alabama Story started its two-week run at the Chattanooga Theater Center yesterday, and it'll run tonight through Sunday, as well as next Thursday through Sunday as well. Get your tickets at theatercenter.com. This is fun. The Harlem Globetrotters are going to be at the McKenzie Arena this Saturday, the 29th at 2 o'clock and then again at 7 o'clock p.m. You can see tickets including VIP and meet and greet options at harlemglobetrotters.com and then look for the tour link. If you're looking for a little outdoor adventure and you don't mind the cold, Chattanooga Outdoor Adventures offers Sandhill Crane Kayak Tours mornings from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. You can check dates and reserve your tour now at chattanoogaguidedadventures.com. All right, it's time for my restaurant picks of the week. First up, Mount Fuji on 153 North Chattanooga, Hickson for hibachi and delicious original sushi creations. That is actually my go-to place, uh, but I wanna tell you about a special deal they got going on. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, all sushi rolls are 50% off. So you'll probably see me there one of those days. They are open seven days a week for lunch and dinner, and you can check them out and see their full menu at fujihickson.com. Next up for dessert, check out the ice cream show on Walnut Street just before you cross the pedestrian bridge. Uh, it's a funky ice cream and coffee shop popular for its customizable blended ice cream and froyo flavors. They are open 12 to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Check them out at facebook.com slash the ice cream show. And that is all for me for this week. I will see you next Friday on Friday Chatter. In the meantime, have a fantastic weekend. Safe travels, y'all. And remember that sometimes the unknown is the greatest adventure. See you next week.